26 past seven, listening to that in our Wellington studio is the Prime Minister Bill English. Good morning. Good morning. So what does a reset on superannuation look like? Can we expect an announcement before the election? Oh, certainly before the election, quite soon. Uh, I think it's important that people uh, know what the government position is uh, so that they don't get uh, too anxious on the mm. one hand and if there's any changes, that they they know what those would be. Is the age to rise? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. You did nod your head, though, when one of those uh, people that we spoke to <coughs> earlier said five more years. Is that any kind of an indication? Oh, no, I was just interested in the range of opinion that you had there from um, some people saying it shouldn't shift to some suggesting quite a big shift. Uh, but what was interesting there was that people were familiar with the arguments that have been around for uh, 20 years now. Mm. When you say that people <coughs> have to wait and see, is that reassuring, do you think? Well, look, it's just a matter of making sure that um, as the government takes a position, it's clear exactly what the government's position is, that you don't have a kind of half half a discussion about half the issues uh, dribbling around for a while. That, I think that does create anxiety, and that's why we want to deal with the issue quite shortly. Oh, OK. When you say quite shortly, what does that mean? Days, weeks? Well, you'll just have to you'll see. But when can people expect an announcement? Well, when we've completed our process. OK. So are you going to be looking at, for example, a more flexible form, as Peter Dunn has spoken about in the past, that you can take the pension, say, at age 60, but you get less than if you wait till you're, say, age 70? Well, I think there's been quite a bit of work done on that in the past. Um, it, as, as far as I recall, it um, didn't come to a sort of decisive conclusion. Uh, Are you but that would be a that matter, at all or not? That would be a matter for discussion with Peter Dunn before anyone else. OK. Is that something that you're doing? Well, as I said, it would be a matter for, for discussion with him if it was going to be considered. Yes, and are you doing that? Well, again, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see where we get to a government position. OK. Is that an indication then that you are talking to Peter Dunn about that as a possibility? Uh, no, I've, all I've said is that if we were going to consider it, then we'd be talking to him first about it because it's been a position of the United Future Party, they're a coalition partner. And you would hope to be a coalition partner of theirs in the future, wouldn't you? So that is something potentially that could be on the table here. Well, look, I'm sure once the government's position uh, is clear, there'll be discussion among a range of parties. People, the parties, political parties will take the, you know, their positions relative to the government one. What about reducing the <coughs> age? This is another call from another uh, partner of yours at the moment. Uh, reducing the age for Māori and Pacifica for the pension. Now, that look, that's not something I've seen considered and we're not considering it. OK. Is it likely to remain universal as an entitlement and also index linked to the average wage? Look, again, we should wait for the... <coughs> wait till the government's got a clear position, but uh, there shouldn't... No one should be expecting a change in the entitlement. OK, so no no change to the entitlement, but perhaps linking to something else, the CPI instead? Well, as I said, no change to the entitlement. We're not, not contemplating and haven't contemplated any change to the way the national super is paid. So in that case, would you consider means testing? Well, again, uh, you'd have to wait and see, but we've certainly, we have not considered means testing. You have, you have a scheme there now which, where there's been extensive debate about means testing um, for some time, and uh, that, that issue has been settled many you, years ago. You do means test uh, beneficiaries, though, so why not means test people who are of retirement age? Well, you know, look, New Zealand had 30 years of debate over means testing and came to the conclusion not to do it. Uh, one of the factors that seems to, one of the things that seems to have occurred as a result of that is a uh, significantly increased number of older people in work because they can still retain their national super in full, uh, even though they're working. And it's probably, it's turned out that's happened on a larger scale than was expected. The comments that you made over the weekend and that you're still talking about this morning, is this a way of essentially ruling out working with Winston Peters? Because it seems to be a pretty hard line for him. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, I think um, Mr Peters, like everyone else, should wait to see what the government position is and then they can uh, decide what they want to do about that. Uh, but, um, you know, that's really that's really for politics later. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. 29 minutes to eight. You were listening to the Prime Minister, Bill English, in the Wellington studio.